Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the HPC P45 code card. This is for their punch machine, uh, not their blitz machine, this is for a punch machine. And the card, just, just wanting the camera to kind of focus for us here a little bit. There we go. The code card uh, frankly does a lot more than just allow us to cut keys uh, uh, using the machine that it was designed to be used with. Um, what I mean by that is it's basically a depth and spacing chart as well. So up over here you have all of your here you have your depth and spacing. So if you were to imagine in your mind's eye if you took a uh, just a blank uh, just a key blank and you were going to um, have to make a, a blank by hand, in theory, in your mind's eye, you could imagine how you might take the right shaped file, and if you knew the shoulder to first cut, and then center to center of each cut, and you knew how deep to file it, you could make a key. In theory, you could. And in fact, locksmiths do. People that are actual, you know, locksmiths, not, you know, I'm a certified registered locksmith, but I would not be originating a key by hand, even though it's something that's done often. And the code card uh, will give you the depth and spacing. That's part of what it does. It will also tell you more information about the material as well. Direct digit codes, meaning these are direct codes. If it's a Schlage number four cut, there's no indirect, it's not a reference to something else, it's not a indirect or a blind code. It literally means it's a four cut. You could find out everything you wanted to know about that four cut over here as well. And these depths are, are, are what would be a root depth. And that root depth would be measured from the bottom of the key blank to the bottom of the cut. That's how those are measured. So you'll notice that a six schlage is a longer pin than a four if you're looking over at the depth area here with me you'll know you know that a schlage six is a longer pin than a schlage four but you'll see a six is a shorter length and that's because it's a deeper cut because we're measuring from the underside of the root from the from the root of the from the bottom of the key blank to the root of the cut you'll get the jaw that you're supposed to use to cut this on your machine that's on here Tells you, again, direct digit codes, read bow to tip, more information about how to process these. Your Kaba Ilko blank, or it'll be 1145. Your easy number would be an SC1 or an SC4 or a 7. Now, if you were to go to the Kaba Ilko key blank catalog, which is in our site under manufacturers, then Kaba Ilko, then key blank directory, I think it's called, you'll find those key blanks. Right hand insertion, it tells you. It tells you that the DSD, the depth and spacing chart, number 060, and I'm going to show you where to find that in a moment, your safety factor is what's called MAX, M-A-C-S, your maximum adjacent cut specification. If you don't know what that means, you can have a 2 and a 9 together, but you can't have a 1 and a 9 together because the cut will, the deep 9 cut will obliterate part of the shallow 1 cut. Prog step, progression step, that means that Schlage is a two-step system or parity. Um, not to dive deep into what that means, it's just Schlage is a two-step system, uh, whereas System 70 by Corbin Russwin is a single-step system. Blanks should have proper back milled radius. That's a reference to right at the tip of my finger. That's the back milling on the key blank. You have to have key blanks that are manufactured with that back milled radius. Do not punch stainless key blanks, such as the original Schlage L. The Schlage L is an all-section blank for that classic obverse set of keys. And there should be seven here. SC1, 4, 7, 8, 9, 10, 26. There are seven. Why? C, E, C, E, F, E, F, G, F, G would be the classic seven keyways. Um, those are the, they belong in a multiplex structure. Well, on top of those seven will sit two multi-section blanks. On top of all of that will sit the all-section blank, which is an L blank. Schlage makes that in stainless. Don't run that all-section blank on your HPC cut machine. Um, you'll want to cut that not on this machine. Um, 
and the meaning the original Schlage is. I don't know if HPC, pardon me, I don't know if Kaba Ilko makes an all section blank. They probably do. I don't know what it's made out of. I'd have to look in the catalog. Um, your co your code card number P Punch Machine. If this was a Blitz machine, it would start with the letter C, and you're doing Schlage standard. Just you know, probably the most common or second most common, uh, along with Quickset. Tells you your depth increment, the 015, uh, and then your space increment. So your depth is the difference from a 1 to a 2 is 015. Then your space, center of your first cut to the center of your next cut, is um, 0.156. This is information. So they take information off their depth and spacing chart and they dump it on the card. You don't need that to cut this material. I mean, you need this. Okay? <laughs> you don't need any of this. But what makes the card great is because it gives you all this other information right at a glance. Um, that 015 increment is why it's a two-step system. I have been taught that it is proven, it is known, that any difference between two cuts that is 0 0.023 or less is going to result in failure, key interchange, things of that nature. So because 015 is less than 0 0.023, you have to go every two cuts to make it 0.030 in Schlage. That's why it's a two-step system. So let's skip over to the screen view where we can take a look at some supporting documentation just quickly on this uh, on HPC. Okay, this is the item that we're looking at. Not much to see here except that the link to the manufacturer's page. If you pull that up, you'll be able to um, get to the depth and spacing chart by number, which would be that 060 we mentioned earlier, or by manufacturer. So we'll just click on manufacturer, control F or a find function on your keyboard on your keyboard for Schlage. Okay. And we're gonna look for just Schlage um, standard right here. Schlage standard. It's a DSD60 or 060. If you're going to cut Schlage and you're going to do it on a punch machine, you need a P45. You want to know what the card number is for your Blitz? It's a C45. What's nice about that is it'll tell you your, your punch that you're supposed to use, your jaw that you're supposed to use. If you're running a Blitz machine, it's got to be the CW14MC. Then your depth and spacing charts are all here. Okay, Really handy resource. Really, really handy resource. Um, on that page also are all the HPC products that we sell. A link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the full product catalog. Other encyclopedic documents are here as well. I would recommend a trip to the manufacturer's website because it's just chock full of interesting HPC material, as is their catalog. If you know the name HPC at all, you probably do for what's pictured here, the, the code Blitz machine. I own one. I've owned one for years. I've used them for decades. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a tool that, like any other tool in locksmithing, has a purpose that it is best suited for. It is not suited best for many applications, but there are certain applications where it's extremely well suited. So it's just one of the tools that you would use in your arsenal of doing locksmithing work. Um, I also own a Tiger Shark. I don't have a review of that machine at this time, but I will at some point in the future. The Code Max I've never used looks simple. And then, of course, you've got your Blitz machine. Okay. Uh, I believe it even cuts Medico right out of the box, although you would need the cutter. It'll do the 20 degree. Um, yeah, yeah, it will. Um, it will do uh, uh, original Medico, obviously. Um, it'll do biaxial um, because of the depth and spacing chart. I'm not a Medico expert. You'd have to look and see what cards are available for that. Um, so a lot of great tools, locksmithing tools that are here. There's our punch machine. Okay, that's the unit we're talking about here, etc. HPC is not only key machines, however, although they it does seem like they do. If you ever cut tubular keys, this machine has been, or variants of this have been around. Kaba Ilko manufactured. They still might make it. I don't know, but they make it. They made a tubular key. You can occasionally find them online. Um, you scroll through, and then you're going to get into. Uh, hardware that locksmiths would use, not only tools of the trade, like picks and whatnot, but security hardware. Um, 
locksmithing tools, key cabinets, key rings, wall safes, specialty hardware, key lockable drop box, etc. Uh, we've sold these in the past many times. This gets installed into a truck. It gives you some minor security over something. Um, you know, latch protectors are here. Uh, cylinder guards are here as well. So taking a trip through this catalog just allows you to familiarize yourself better with uh, HPC. Let's wrap up this video on camera. In conclusion, I hope it comes through that I'm partial to HPC. Um, not only do I own their tools, uh, I sell their hardware, I'm familiar with it, um, but I interact with their technical support uh, folks um, reasonably consistently often. Uh, and one thing I can say about them is they always respond. Uh, there's no doubt. They, um, they do a pretty decent job at responding. And I think in the locksmithing industry, where you have, I would say, a demanding client base, people that need to get the job done and done correctly. They need to be able to work with a manufacturer of the tools that they depend on, HPC or anybody else who makes locksmithing tools, for very good technical support. I have had a couple of uh, reasonably deep conversations with someone well within um, HPC's technical support department and found found that gentleman to be exceptionally responsive and accessible. Like, email me at any time. Here's my cell number. You know, I'm being figurative, but the world class, the, the best in class tech support, uh, I think locksmith companies have to have it. There's a lot, there, there, there are a lot of options when it comes to locksmith tools, um, but you need to be able to get the answers from, from the factory at times, and they do a very good job with that. Any questions on the P45 HPC card for their punch machine for typical Schlage or any other HPC product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.